You want us to do a drum roll? Uh, sure. <laughs> 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 Hey, what's up guys? So this is just a first look at the new Triumph 1200 Speed Triple RS. Uh, they didn't even send a key with this one. This one's a pre-production here in the U.S. You know, Triumph's done a really good job of keeping this under wraps. We didn't even really know it was coming for until the last couple days. And now here it is. So we're just going to do a walk around, some cool things that I like, some things that I don't like. And I'll talk about it a little bit, but that's really going to be it. So if you want to watch a video of some people riding, I suggest you just go check out the video I linked below, which is Motorcycle versus Car Drift Battle 2. Put some headphones on and enjoy that. That's a good riding video. This one's just going to be a quick first look. If you want to watch other videos of me riding around, check out my channel. I'll link something at the end of the video, and you can check that out, too. All right, let me see this thing. All right, guys, here it is, the new Speed Triple RS 1200. It's actually an 1160, and it makes 29 more horsepower than the old one did, and it, it's 177, which makes it Triumph's most powerful bike. Um, it also lost 15 pounds which is pretty rare when it comes to new bikes. You know, everybody wants to pack a little bit more in and a little bit more on. Um, so Triumph said that they've made everything thinner and more streamlined. You know, I believe them, but then they said they put wider handlebars on it. So wider but thinner, same thing. These are a nice touch, the bar and mirrors. They're gonna become in stock. And then, uh, you know, Olin's front and back on the RS. There is no base model here in the US uh, or in Britain yet. Um, fully adjustable Olin's which is really nice touch here. You know, still need an Allen key to get in there, but that's okay. The exhaust is one thing that is a big letdown. Now that's probably a bunch of Euro 5 stuff, but it just loses the old speed triple, uh, you know, dual shotgun under the rear tail section exhaust, which, uh, you know, was like that quintessential hooligan bike. And that's why we all loved it. It still has the single sided swing arm. I'm kind of missing the older matte finished ones from the generation before so i mean well there's a lot of nice touches and triumph has always done a really good job of making things look nice like even just this the license plate hanger and the t uh, turn signals like what a nice attention to detail here and triumph's always gotten that right you know and you can see it through all their bikes this is the uh external cush drive and it also comes with a quick shifter this is going to retail for $18,300, which puts it significantly cheaper than the, say, Ducati Multistrada, or not Multistrada, the Ducati Street Fighter V4S, which I mean, like, are they the same bike? We're going to see these head-to-head, -head, so I, I think it'll be pretty close. You know, all the paint looks like it's, uh, all the stickers look like they're painted over. So if you don't like stickers, you're not going to be able to get those off. You can always call me up, I'll do a custom spray paint job on your bike. Triumph's done a really nice job of these frames, they always have. This rear, rear tail section looks like it's cast aluminum. It is, and the rear passenger pegs will probably come off of most people's bike because that rear seat is pretty much non-existent. I don't even know what you would, I guess it's a cowling. Maybe it comes with an accessory seat. The adjustable master cylinder from Brembo, these are pretty nice, and Triumph's been putting them on a lot of their bikes, you know, along with the Stylema brake calipers, which, like, not that long ago, these existed on MotoGP bikes, and now Triumph's putting them on almost all their bikes, including the Tiger 850, so Triumph's really scored a nice deal there. It's got this little TFT display. I actually can't turn the bike on and show you guys, but it's just a little five-inch color guy, which looks nice. Um... Glad to see it doesn't have any of the stuff in front of it like the um, scramblers do. Would have been nice to see a hydraulic clutch. But then again, that's Triumph, and they've never done a hydraulic clutch, so why start now? Even just the machining on these triple clamps here, it's like a bit of a contrast cut. Again, just the nice little attention to details that Triumph does. I imagine this bike will be around for a long time, so... You know, the aftermarket community will probably support it big time. You'll be able to swap everything out, get rid of all these plastic chain guards, and really bling it out. It's, looks fun. 
So when it comes to the seating position, the thing feels really good. Uh, the black handlebars, nice little touch. Um, this is kind of the same clutch and brake levers that they're running on the Scrambler 1200 that I own. They're, they're nice, fully adjustable here and here. And that's also a nice thing about it being a cable clutch is that, you know, you, you've got a lot of room for adjustment. Hydraulic clutches, they are either where you need them or they're not, and that works. You know, as far as the seating position goes, there's a good space for your knees. I'm six foot two, 34 inch inseam sometimes. And, uh, you know, there's plenty of room for your knees there. So it still fits a full size adult, unlike some other bikes that are just tiny and cramped. This one does feel good. The rider triangles kind of spaced out. This all disappears once you get on the bike. When you realize how low the headlights and dashboard are, like it's probably just going to feel like you're flying as you ride it. Yeah, I'm going to have to get my hands on one of these, do a little test review. Hey guys, we're not done yet. Here is the older generation of the Speed Triple. The rims I like a little bit better. They're kind of cooler looking, but just the Undertale exhaust is what the Speed Triple was always known for, man. And it feels like Triumph might've gotten away from that. You know, know where he came from. And this was the iconic look, was the double shotguns under the, under the rear seat. Uh, showed you really didn't care about your passenger and that was cool, but you know, things change, move on. I also like these side cowlings better, but the controversial not round, dual round headlights are definitely not as good looking as the new one. In fact, I'll go show you that. Yeah, this just looks a lot more finished. It makes a little bit more sense. It's definitely a little quicker. And again, it's gotten away from the dual bug eyes. But yeah. Still, both killer looking bikes, but that exhaust, swap it out. But let's not forget the real reason we all love the Speed Triple, because Tom Cruise rode one in Mission Impossible 2.